Let's go. You should always stay focused. Ballers and baller ets, what's up? Coach Max here with you from the channel, the Scorpion Academy. What's up, basketball world? What is good? How y'all doing today? I'm doing good. And I know y'all doing good because I'm pretty sure you saw what Luka Doncic did last night. That was a monstrous performance. Whew. I'm out of words. That was a great performance. You know, when you get to that zone, it's pretty hard to stop. It's pretty hard to stop. So the Clippers, they need to check themselves because Luka is not to be messed with. Mm. But today, 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 today is... Today is Mamba Day, so happy birthday to Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest of his generation. Shout out to the man, shout out to his family, member mentality all day, guys. Work and work and work. Discipline is the key. Work ethic, guys. If you want to make it, you want to become the best player you want to be, work, discipline, work ethic never settle never settle you'll be able to achieve that being said shout out man one love today what we got today we have three on threes and we have a game up to 11 uh the game up to 11 is first guy who gets to 11 right so we have jo uncle drew and myself playing the game up to 11 why am i talking about this the question is, who knows you better than your friends? Who knows you better than your teammates? I guess if my mom knows me, we're talking ball now. We're talking ball. Who knows you better than your teammates? Why am I saying that? Because if ever you want to get to that member mentality zone, that man, black member like, buckets all over the place you want to get to that mj zone when he smoke a cigar and say i'm going to drop 50 on you he drops 60 play against your teammates play often why because who knows you better than your teammates think about it he knows all your moves he knows where you want to go. He knows when exactly you're going to try to pull up a shot. He's all up in your face. Damn Uncle Drew, huh? But that is what we want. Because if you are able to get over that and not feeling bad or say, you know what? I can't do that to my boy. I can't, I can't shred his face. If you can shoot in his face and not feel bad about it, what exactly are you going to do against someone that you don't even know? They don't know you. You don't know them. Why you have to be nice to them? This is basketball. And when you are inside those lines, there's no time to be like, hey, brah, friendly, friendly, and all. No, 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 no. You want, you want to reach that level, that mentality. You want to be in a zone. You want to make buckets. You need to block that away. Put that aside. There's no time for that. I had that problem. When I used to play against, against my boys, Uncle Drew, and all the guys, I was like, ah. And guys were like, hey, man, you're not playing. Like, well, why, why would I play against you guys and try to break your ankles or shoot in your face? I mean... And Uncle Joe was telling me, yeah, guys, this is the best thing you need to do. If you can score against us and get in the zone against us, you can get in the zone against anybody. Because you're not going to feel bad. That sentiment of feeling bad or feeling sorry to the window. I'm going to destroy you. That's, that's the mentality you need to have. I'm going to destroy you. You know, it's good. I know it sounds like this. This is crazy. What, what do you think that this man 
was thinking when he was on the court? What do you think that MJ was thinking when he was on the court? I'm going to destroy you, whoever you are. And yeah, they they friends outside the court. But John Ball, game on. There's, there's no more like, yeah, brah, brah. It's over. It's done. So do it. I'm serious, guys. Do it. Doesn't matter if you have practices with, with the team, the coach. After that, grab two or three guys with you and do it. King of the court. Or do up to 11. The first up to 11. Challenge yourself. And the best way to be challenged is to get challenged by your teammates. Because they will push you. It's serious. You know, you want to be competitive. You want to be aggressive. You want to get in that zone. You want to take the beast out of yourself. Do that. So I'm going to roll the tape, guys. Talk to you after that. Take it all the way.
So, my fellow ballers, that's all we have for today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. So, um, guys, on the real note, you saw what what uh, I was doing with uh, Uncle Drew and Jo. Guys, do it, do it, do it. I'm pretty sure you are you already doing it. Keep doing it. This is this is one of the key things that will help you reach another mental level. Uh, preparation and just you know avoid stress the fear and the doubts and everything when you play against your boys or you play against your girls and you are able to see beyond that they're your friends you don't want to make them look bad because just do it okay just go at it play hard and by doing that it will become a habit it's going to be second nature so when you're going to step on that court and you're going to play against people that you don't know, it's already in you because you, you took that and be able to grow that thing inside of you to make it make it look easy when it's time to reach that level and be aggressive and not being afraid of the people in front of you. So you know what? And yeah, guys, we have to, you have to say it. It's all about total destruction. When you step on that court... There's no time for, for, for friends and like, ha, ha, ha. this is time to prove yourself. So there's no time for second doubting. There's second doubting. There's no time for, 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 yo, my bad, bro, my bad. You just go at it, guys. And if you are able to do that with your teammates, your friend, when you're playing that game up to 11 or first to 21, you can do that to anybody. And nobody will be able to stop you from there. Because you're going to be able to unlock that zone at any time, any moment you want, you decide. Because suddenly that, that, that sentiment of like, oh, I feel sad because I broke his ankle. He fell on the floor. I, no, you just go out and do your thing. You know, you're going to go in your bag of tricks. You go to your repertoire and you're just going to lash out on everybody. That's what you need to do. So, guys... That's all we got, so notification, like, subscribe, more videos are coming out. Eventually, before the weather gets cold, I'm going to bring some more ball, outside ball in the park. So uh, until then, guys, we keep the work, right? Killer instinct all the time. See ya.